The holiday season has arrived, and for many folks, that means it's time to pick out a Christmas tree for the house to help celebrate it. That's true for the Vermont Veterans Home in Bennington, just like everywhere else. Fortunately for the Veterans Home, there was a tree, indeed several of them, growing in a field at the home of Donald Keelan of Arlington, who offered to supply one. He explained the rest to us one morning this week as he and a group of friends gathered to cut it down and deliver it. So. How, do you, how do you pick the ones uh, that you're going to donate to the, either the vet's home or wherever else they go? Are there just simply a matter of well, I, you get to be a certain size and well, I asked, time for them uh, to go, or, or is there another reason? I asked, I asked Jim White. Uh, he's a forester, so he, he, he makes the final decision that this tree will fit on the porch, this tree... Uh, 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 because, uh, like I said, the porch is quite wide, and this is a wide tree. Some people say it's a fat tree, but we like to think of it as a full tree. So, uh, and, and it fits. It fits very nice, and the height of it is very important. Uh, I think uh, that open window, uh, sort of. Well, the porch is open. Yeah. And but it has a um, some rafters that we can actually cut right through. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's a. Uh, Keelan's history with the Christmas trees goes back a ways. In 2007, he spearheaded the effort to bring a tree from Vermont down to Washington, D.C., where it served as the official Christmas tree for the U.S. Capitol. He's also donated Christmas trees to the Veterans Home for the past 11 years. The Veterans Home now has its own outdoor tree, so this one will be used inside, and a tree lighting ceremony will be held in early December. Guys, I'm trimming it all up. Hold it right there, Fred, I guess. You got, you got, oh, yeah. you got a rip coming out right there. Well, I mean, you know, Don always fixes. You got to fight your way in to make the cut. You oh, know, come I on. mean, that, that one took a rut okay. right there. We got to cut that there, Marty. You may not need a chainsaw to trim the base off of your tree and trim off some of those troublesome bottom branches, but in some cases, that can be a big help. The tree will brighten the veterans' home for the holiday season, and from the looks of things, there are a few more where that one came from. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.